Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. If you're new here, Karibu Sana, my name is Doris and I enjoy making a bunch of videos online. So stick around for my bullet journal flip through for the year 2019. I had two journals, the A5 hardcover 200 page square ruled book and my A4 dotted journal from Zani Official. So let me take you through, <laughs> if I can manage to get the angles right, take you through all my pages. I started out by saluting the year 2019. You can see some pencil mark at the bottom. Somebody else did that and I thought it was bomb. I really liked it. Then I have my index which goes for about three pages there. And I, and I think it really looks pretty decent. I tried to align everything properly. Followed by my key, it's pretty simple, and my theme for the ear, which reminded me to begin again every single time. My ear calendar, right there, followed by my future log for the next 12 months. I told my book somehow. Blech. Then my goals for 2019, followed by my fitness track, which I paid attention to. My ear and pixels, which I failed terribly, and this other page was badly done for january was pretty cool with the pattern theme i didn't like the fact that the pages were coming undone before barely using this journal here i reached my first milestone on youtube for 50 subs and i was really excited about that another thing i kept it pretty simple uh, over and over just like my previous journal the other thing that I did is I started to count the weeks from week 1 and I hope to take it through to week 52 For February, I had a very pretty heart theme. I really loved the layout and the doodles. They really came out beautifully. The mood tracker was a bit dull, but other than that, it was just, just made my days. So March came by. It had a leaf theme and though I did not share this video this was one of the best done things in my opinion I thought it came out beautifully I love the color I love the wordings I love the doodles I could tell I was improving on my lettering like on the side I really loved what happened there and this uh, journal month was pretty well done at least for me For April, I had a dream catcher theme. I had wanted to try out a dream catcher for so long, but once I was doing this, my pens were running out, so I ended up struggling a lot in a lot of areas, mainly because I was frustrated I couldn't make uh, the dream catchers as best as I would have wanted. But I pushed through and I had a journal for this month. Yeah, some days you lose some, you gain some. May worked out pretty well. I loved how the theme came out. I can say I enjoyed exploring this month. And with the layout, with the doodles, never mind I got some spellings wrong. But I really loved this month. Um, somehow I, my spirits were up even though I wasn't able to share this one as well. But it was a pretty good month. Now June is a favorite of mine. Not only did the colors pop, but it was the first video since February and I was really excited to be back online. Plus my son's birthday and my bro's birthdays and father's day, which was pretty cool to make those layouts. I really had so much fun doing this and yeah, I could tell that, well, I was back, baby. July was such a lovely month. It had a rainy theme and my key focus was 
mindfulness it was such an easy month the quotes were all about mindfulness and i was even able to try different layout and an instagram challenge and my first dutch door of the year <laughs> this was pretty well done and then at this point my pens were running out again and then my journal pages were coming to an end and i had to switch journals it was so big i had to ask someone to hold my phone camera well okay uh, the first pages were the pages i needed to migrate to this one for continuity of course my butterflies my index and my key and my fitness track and my future log those were the ones and my theme august had a leo constellation theme here i was new to using a dot journal i was kind of winging it hoping i don't mess things up but i pushed through and it was okay September had a Paw Patrol theme and I think it came out very well if I can say so myself and all this because I wanted to mark my son's birthday he loves Paw Patrol so everything was geared towards that and of course at the end I had to have a spread just for him For October I had a web and spider theme though real spiders actually spoke me I had a lot of fun creating this one and yeah, I think it came out really nice. I love crochet and I thought it would be a cool thing for November to try out. I like having the month header on the side all through the month and everything just really worked with the tags. I even tried out a bit of Swahili and the doodles were amazing. December had the fairy lights theme, I enjoyed making it but my work is incomplete, I just had a lot happening and I could not journal or carry my book everywhere because it's just so big but I made do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, I'll be seeing you in future videos, bisous, bye!